welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here today as you can tell by the title i am here to deliver some very exciting news booktube is headed to mystic falls and i am here to tell you all about the mystic readathon the mystic readathon is a vampire diaries inspired month-long readathon that will run the entire month of september more specifically this readathon is based on season two of the vampire diaries which is all about the sun and the moon curse supposedly vampires and werewolves used to roam freely until a shaman put a curse on them to limit their power werewolves can only turn on a full moon and vampires are weakened by the sun it's both a competitive readathon but also a game that's going to require strategy plotting scheming sabotaging you know all the things you would expect to see in the tvd universe the goal here is that each team is trying to collect all of the items needed to break or, depending on what team you're on, prevent the breaking of the Sun and the Moon curse. The items that your team will need to collect are a werewolf, a vampire, a witch, the Moonstone, and the Doppelganger. Now before we move any further, I will address the elephant in the room. What if I've never seen the Vampire Diaries? I'm glad you asked. Even though the readathon is based on the Vampire Diaries, you don't have to have seen a single episode to participate. Having watched the show will only add to the fun of participating. Now, there are two modes of play when it comes to this readathon. You have Feather Mode and Ripper Mode. These modes have nothing to do with which teams you decide to join and they have everything to do with the level of intensity you decide to play at. Feather Mode is for our friends who want to participate, want to support, but maybe they don't want to have to be involved in all the strategy or maybe they're feeling a little bit overwhelmed with all the back-to-back -back readathons and they want to take it easy, not have to get bogged down with all the points and stuff. Read what you want to read, log your books, and let the chips fall where they may. If that sounds more your speed, then Feather Mode is going to be for you. For our readers who have a more competitive spirit, or for our diehard TVD fans, you're probably going to want to play on Ripper Mode. Your goal is to read as many books as you can, rack up those bonus points, play the game, strategize with your team to take down the other teams and win. If that sounds more your speed, then Ripper Mode is going to be for you. Now there's no formal way to declare what mode you're playing on, so whether you decide to start hardcore and maybe you need a break along the way, or if you decide, you know, you want to start late and maybe you want to kick it up a notch as you go. You're free to change your mind at any time. The next section of this video is going to go over points and some of the details pertaining to the readathon and the game piece of it. So if you're playing on feather mode, I recommend skipping down to this timestamp so you can skip over all that stuff because you probably don't care about that. But if you plan on playing on ripper mode, you're probably going to want to hear this next part. Moving on to points. So the points are based on page count. You read a 250 page book, you get 250 points. Very simple. You'll log your books as you go using the book submission form that you can find in the Discord. The submission form will ask you a series of questions about the book that will then tally up everything for you so that you don't have to do the calculations manually. In this readathon, you do have the opportunity to receive partial points for a books that you didn't finish, also known as DNFs. If you read 50% or less of a book, you'll get 15% of the total page count. And if you read 51% or more of a book, you will get 50% of the total page count. There are also three different categories of prompts. Community prompts, faction prompts, and round prompts. Community prompts are for everyone. There are 20 points apiece, and you can combine as many as you want and repeat them as many times as you want for as many books that apply. Faction prompts are specific to the faction that you choose to join. They are worth 50 points apiece, and while you can repeat them as many times as you want, you can only stack on one faction prompt on top of all of your community prompts per book. At the start of each round, your team will receive a round prompt. Now this applies to every book that you read during that particular round. If your team was the team that came in first in the last round, your prompt will be a challenge. Now, you don't have to complete the challenge prompt, but if you don't, you'll only get half your points for each book that does not meet the prompt. If your team did not come in first place during that last round, then there's no penalty for not completing the round prompt. It's just a bonus. If you decide to do it, you'll get an extra 100 points for each book that does fit the round prompt. Now, it wouldn't be the Vampire Diaries if there wasn't a way to include some challenges and some chaos along the way. You'll be able to sabotage the other teams and gain advantages by playing cards. You'll decide as a team which cards to play each round and your co-host will relay your team's decision to me. Will you play the Catherine card, passing off your punishment to a lesser team? Play the Rose card and maybe tap into some secret information that could be game-changing. Play your Stefan card and sacrifice your team to spare another, for a handsome reward of course. Or play the Klaus card and steal another team's points altogether. 
To learn more about the cards and how they work, check out the Discord and the How to Play doc, which are both linked down below in the description. Speaking of teams, let's check out the teams, or should I say factions, and meet your co-hosts. There are four factions to choose from, and each faction has four co-hosts. Starting off, we have the Werewolf faction, which will be led by Rainy from Rainy Blue Reads, Sam from Samantha Donovan, Meredith from Ben Chicken Books, and Kita from the Resistance Book Club. Next, we have the Witch faction, which will be led by Paco from Bad Witch Books, Neva from Reading with Neva, Bree from The Book Travert, and Brooklyn from Brooklyn Reads. Then we have the human faction, and don't sleep on the humans. Our human faction will be led by Leandra from Leandra the TBR Zero, Nicole from the Dusty Book Sniffers, Vanessa from Reading of Dr. B, and Kiana from Sexy Lady. And last, but definitely not least, we have the vampire faction, which is led by Brittany from Brittany Loves Reading, Katie from I Would Rather Be Reading, Courtney from Tangible Reads, and Margaret from The Word Nerd. Once you've decided which faction you want to join, you'll need to do two things. Number one, you'll want to fill out the sign-up sheet, which you can find linked down below in the description. This is where you will officially sign up for the readathon and declare your faction. And then number two, you also want to join the Discord, which you can also find the link for down below in the description. This is so that you can have access to your team's private headquarters, uh, get access to everything that you'll need to be able to participate in the readathon, like the book submission form, any kind of announcements, graphics, the team chat, etc. You will need to do both of these things. If you don't complete the sign up form, then when you go to submit books using the submission form, the points will just kind of go poof and they won't be assigned to any team. And then if you don't join the Discord, then you won't have access to your team chat or be able to see your prompts or have access to the book submission form or have access to the watch along. Speaking of which, whether you've never seen the show before or you're on your 12th rewatch, we'll be doing watch alongs and trivia in the Discord throughout the month. So you definitely don't want to miss that. So we've talked about how to play, how to sign up, how the points work, the teams that there are to choose from. Now let's talk merch. There are three different designs to choose from and they come in a variety of styles, colors, and size options. First up is the Clock Tower design, which is what I am currently wearing. It features the Mystic Readathon main logo, and you can see that all of the factions are represented. Then there's the Game On design, which you might recognize as a line from Season 2. This design is faction specific, so it has your faction's name on it and comes in different shades of your faction's team color as well as white. And last, but certainly not least, is the epic love triangle design. And this one's for all my hybrids. Hybrid readers, that is. When it comes to audiobooks and physical books, I think Catherine and Elena would both agree when I say, it's okay to love them both. All three of these designs are available as we speak, so you can purchase your merch today using the link down below in the description. Whew. All right, <laughs> so I know that was a lot of information to take in. So if you have questions, feel free to drop them down below in the comments and definitely check out the how to play guide, which goes into more detail as well as the FAQs or frequently asked questions, because there's a good chance that your question may already be answered there. And of course, you can always ask questions in the Discord. The Sheriff's Office would be happy to help. With that being said, I will send you on your way. I hope that you'll join us in September for some bloody fun in the square. And I'll see you guys on the other side. Bye.